Well, this week marks six months since a Sherwood cyclist was killed in a hit and run. John Mundell was hit while he was riding his bike on Highway 107 back on July 18th. He died four days later. The driver still on the loose. Claire Kreitz speaking with Mundell's wife, who tells her it's not getting any easier. Claire. No, Kevin, not at all. Despite the time passed, Kimberly Mundell says it feels like just yesterday she lost her husband. Now all she's hoping for is the person responsible to be put behind bars. This is John's two brothers and my sister-in-law, my mother-in-law. Flipping through a book of memories. Kimberly Mundell looks back on her time with her husband, John, and remembers the simple things. We were happy just sitting here on the couch, looking at our phones beside each other. Now that seat next to her is empty, but her husband's story hasn't been concluded. Especially with no closure on what happened with still so many unanswered questions. John Mundell was hit while cycling on Highway 107 in Sherwood. Four days later, he died. The driver who hit him? is still on the loose. It's still actively ongoing. Jeremy Ferguson is the lead detective on the case and says they have a vehicle in the state crime lab that matches the description of the vehicle they believe hit Mundell. They've also spoken with the only named person of interest, Cecil Farrell. We had a good conversation with him. Ferguson says he is still a person of interest, but no arrests have been made. Right now, they are waiting on some more things to fall into place to make sure the person behind the wheel is put behind bars. There are definitely other avenues that, that we're working on um, to try to get some resolution on this case, and it's going to take some time, though. Time, something Kimberly has gotten used to, now hitting the six-month mark of her husband's death. That a half a year, that's a good chunk of time, but for me, John died yesterday. She's hoping the next milestone crossed isn't a date but answers to long-awaited questions. That's why, why didn't you stop? Giving Kimberly closure to her husband's case. It, it would mean, um, I, don't, I don't think I have words for that. I can imagine relief. Again, this still is an active investigation. Please ask anyone who has any information about the hit and run to contact Sherwood PD. Kevin, back to you.